Breadboard power supplies take in a higher voltage, 9 volts works pretty well, and outputs either 5 volts or 3.3 volts. There's also pins here that you can tap into to output that voltage, or a USB, which we're not going to look at in this video. So now we got uh, the power pins there, which I don't think many people use. The uh, ground is on the right, we can go to any of the grounds, but there are supply voltages uh, to the left here. So the top two are 5 volts, we are powering that LED with these pins. If I go down uh, one more, that's also 5 volts, the LED should be the same brightness, but 3.3 uh, volts for these bottom two pins, so the LED is not as bright. But uh, you can see we got the male end over there that plugs into the breadboard to provide power uh, to breadboard spots if we want. The way most people use this is just to power the breadboard rails there. That's why it's called a breadboard power supply. So we got 5 volts on the left there, uh, 0 volts if we just center it. It's not powering the board at all. And uh, you'll probably notice that LED is not as bright because we are at 3.3 volts. Again, it's the same with this other side here. We can either do 5 volts, 3.3 volts, or center it for 0 volts right there. I pressed the button to turn off the uh, power supply and then I unplugged it. And there is the adapter there, takes in the AC and outputs 9 volts. Again, I recommend 9 volts pretty much uh, whenever you use one of these. And we got the pins on the bottom there. They just plug right into the breadboard. It's that simple to attach it right there. That's all you have to do. Now I do also have this uh, snap here with a barrel plug at the end. So we can snap it onto a 9 volt battery once I put it on the right way. We don't have to worry about short circuits because it's a barrel jack on uh, that side. And then we can plug it in. So it's not going to turn on right away because I turned the button off when I unplugged the power supply. But there you can see we can power this with uh, 9 volt batteries. That's 3.3 uh, again. And uh, so we got seven. So over time, this will discharge to about seven volts or six volts or something, and it should still power the board as it goes down. You may see on data sheets that these can go up to 12 volts, but when I used uh, 12 volts to power them, they burned out. So I think they're close to burning out at 12 volts. That's why I recommend nine volts or a bit less. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed.